Hi, today I want to talk about private IP addresses and public IP addresses. I want to talk about private addresses. I want to talk about public addresses. Okay. Private IP addresses are internal addresses. That means they're only valid on the local area networks, but not on the internet. For example, my home network here is a local area network and all the devices connected to this network have received private IP addresses. Public IP addresses, on the other hand, are external addresses. That basically means they're globally unique and valid on the internet. One example would be the IP address that my ISP has assigned to the WAN interface of my wireless router. There are three different blocks of private IPv4 addresses. Class A is 10.0.0.0 slash 8. Class B is 172.16.0.0 slash 12. And Class C is 192.168.0.0 slash 16. Most of the wireless routers by default use Class C addresses. Alright, so let's focus on my home network as an example here. I have a PC, a laptop, and a tablet here. If they want to talk to each other, they're going to use their private IP addresses. But let's say if they need to access a web server on the internet, then their private IP addresses are not going to be valid. And the gateway of this network, which is the wireless router, is going to map their private IP addresses to the public IP address before they can access the web server. So with the help of private IP addresses and also network address translation, multiple devices can use a single public IP address to access the internet. And this method can help to conserve IPv4 addresses because there's only about 4.29 billion IPv4 addresses available. So basically if someone else uses the same private IP addresses we used here, there's not going to be any problem because his public IP address would be different. The public IP address that the ISP assigns to each home internet is usually a dynamic IP address. That means it can change from time to time. There are some cases that we might need an IP address that doesn't change, such as running a web server for example. This is called a static public IP address and can be purchased from the ISP. So if I want to know what my private IP address is on a Windows machine, I can go to the Windows command prompt and type in ipconfig. If I want to know what my public IP address is on the other hand, I can either log into the wireless router and check the WAN section. Or a faster way would be to Google what is my public IP address. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.